Hey friends, a few weeks ago someone asked me about a Nosferatu run. Nosferatu being the kindred whose appearance is so grotesque that merely being seen by Kain is a violation of the masquerade. So they have to travel by way of sewers and generally stay out of sight of mortals. I was intrigued so I gave Santa Monica to Act 2 a try. I've always avoided Nos because I find the sewer system daunting and the sewer map difficult to follow. Experiencing it as a Nos didn't change that at all, though I firmly believe that it's entirely learnable over time. But I figured I'd share some of the unique reactions. Spoilers, of course, so give this one a pass if you're looking to try it for yourself sometime. First of all, how did this happen? What kind of beer goggles were we using when we hooked up with a Nosferatu? She looks ordinary enough. But during the sentencing, we see this little revelation. It pains me to announce the sentence. That's messed up. As, up what tonight, discipline was she using to obscure her true appearance? Loyal... When we get to the tutorial, Jack proceeds as normal. Ah. Just when we think he'll take the high road, he drops this on us. And you, my fugly friend, they're gonna have it extra hard. A little effort and the rest of us can blend in okay. And sighting of your hideous ass hits the internet and it's all over. There's a reason most Nosferatu smell like the sewer. Figure it out. Thanks, Jack. I can't tell you whether the cop in the sewer reacts or how, because this is a current version of the unofficial patch and West removed the cop a couple of months ago. But starting in Santa Monica, the game tries to ease me into the Nos reality with this encounter. Oh my. Oh my. Oh I just refuse my. to take the hint. Oh my. Stay back. Help! I figured the one benefit of being Nos is Nox would piss off at the front door, but nah, he just meets you or follows you to the clinic's back door. Oh man, you're a Nosferatu, aren't you? Ah, oh, come on. Oh man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> just come clean, you know? I mean, oh man, I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just want to talk. Hard to deny I'm a vampire, but hey, Nox can suck it. Other local participants of the masquerade play it more or less straight. Mercurio is all business, but eludes the tongue being Nosferatu like us. Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Lily doesn't vary at all, so maybe she's aware of Nosferatu or they didn't write extra lines for her. Therese Vorman wears her prejudice on her sleeve and she's not going to hide them on our account, though she does throw us a courtesy no offense. Tung's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? No offense. Jeanette doesn't bring it up at all, but if we inquire whether she thinks we're ugly... On the inside, we're all dead meat, kitten. Of course, the main event here is mortal and a certain Thinblood's reaction to our atypical appearance. The only person who's cool is Trip. Good evening. <laughs> nice work on the face there. I got a friend who's into the body sculpting scene, goes to conventions and stuff. You know, Not my thing, but uh, I can appreciate it. Nice job with the ears there, especially. That's right, dude. After that, everyone gets in their licks. Can you hear me? You're going into shock. Nurse! What? Now they're sending the extra uglies to sweep us up. Keep walking, freak. Seriously, get out of my sight. Damn, son, I don't mean no offense, but I just gotta ask. You did that to yourself on purpose, right? Some kind of newfangled thing like they do with piercing and tattooing and whatnot? I don't reckon you were born like that, right? Hello there. Oh, I thought you were... I mean, um, <clears throat> I didn't realize... Um, uh, I don't do plastic surgery, I'm afraid. Maybe you should try speaking with someone down at the clinic instead. Oh, you are? Well, I suppose your limbs are in decent shape. Well, at least some of them are, I think. Oh, bother it all. I'm sure we'll make do. Huh? Ah! Oh, God! Gimbal got to you, too? Man, that's inhumane. Looks like he sliced up your face and sewed it back together in the wrong order. Huh? Ugh, freak! 
Oh, what the? What's wrong with your face? Are they shooting a movie nearby or something? Damn, you should really go take off that mask. You're uh, scaring the clientele. Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but even beer goggles have their limits, you know, if you were hoping to find someone drunk enough to go home with you. Including Heather. Happy to suck on this nasty dude's wrist, but the moment she regains awareness, well... Get away from me! No! I've heard elsewhere that Shunk is someone you're specifically supposed to avoid as Nosferatu, so of course I had to talk to him. Whoa! Who? What the? Who? That bear claw's not sitting too pretty. Oh, jeez. Evacuate the area! Boom! <laughs> Or whatever the heck you are, I recommend you vacate the area immediately before I radio for additional security personnel. That really knocked a few years off the old ticker. And then there's this lady at the diner during the Thin Blood quest. Yeah, yeah, what a little bit. Lord! Oh, sweet Jesus! Just awful. When we finally meet up with Bertram Tongue, he gives us a sewer manual. Here, take this map. Use it to navigate the sewer mains. You'll never be able to use public transportation with that face, so uh, get used to jogging in the slop. And stop back by later. I might have use for a young Nosferatu like yourself. That's how Nosferatu travel instead of the taxi. Tongue actually gave it to me before I went to the warehouse. So I went to see if I could break the game by visiting downtown early. But the regional map didn't unlock until after the warehouse, as intended, I'd imagine. The downtown transition cutscene varies with us climbing out of the sewer, but a taxi still pulls up in front of us and it looks like we're getting out of the taxi. Your guess as to why is as good as mine. I'm sure that isn't a comprehensive list of Nosferatu-specific references in Act 1, but it's what I found during my first pass. The sewer travel wasn't as vexing as I thought it'd be, but it's still above my visual spatial pay grade. Maybe your mileage will vary. Oh, and as a bonus, here's Fat Larry's reaction to us. <laughs> Damn, me! Don't be sneaking up on a brother with your crackhead skin disease test tube baby looking ass! Damn near shit my pants! I don't sell no soap, so what the hell you want? 